What's going on, guys? Oh, oh, let's do that again. What's going on, guys? No Slack Novak back with episode 7 of Sim Airport. If you guys watched the last episode, you guys know we did a little bit of renovation in the airport. We we doubled. Well, almost doubled. We added two more of these security stations over here. Two more metal detectors, two more bag scanners. I think that's really going to help alleviate the, uh, the bottlenecks that we were having over here. And as you guys can see, there's plenty of room for expansion for the ID check stands. That's excellent. We got rid of the two restrooms that were up there, right? We had female and male restrooms over here. We actually relocated those down here and expanded them, made them a little bit larger. So that's good. Overall, overall better restroom service in the airport. We also added in four dumpsters just to kind of alleviate our little dumpster situation over there. Now, what I think I want to do in this episode, I am going to want to add another fuel tank. Uh, we are going to, well, we are using a lot more fuel too now with this third, this third terminal, um, third gate, sorry. I think I'm going to want to add a fourth gate in this episode. I'm going to want to add at least one more fuel tank. But the number one thing, number one thing I want to do in this episode, I want to make the runway even larger. Now, what are our options? So let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, man. This is asphalt runway. Okay, so we can just... Um, how, much, how much larger do we have to make it? That's the question. Um, I'm thinking we're going to have to remove this. You know, let's do this. We have $94,000. How much is it going to cost us to, to expand the runway? That's $14,000 per tile. Um, we, I mean, yeah, we could we could bump that up. Maybe what we should do is we should purchase some more area. Is that something we can do? Or can we only go up? Or can we not even do that because of the fact that we don't have the, uh, the staff uh, researched? Let's see over here. Let's make this a little bit larger. Kind of see the full scope of our research and development, our R&D department. Um, let's see. So one-way taxis, runway intersections, all that good stuff there. Credit reporting. No, don't care about that too much. Property tax. That would be something nice that we could work on. Land expansion right there. So we require a, uh, we need a research operations. We also have to have a CEO with a COO with an office, which isn't going to be a big deal. And then that is it. Requires $90,000. We have that. Requires researching finance. We've done that. Let's go ahead and research operations. And then we'll also research the land expansion once that gets done. And we uh, we will hopefully get to expand that runway. I'd like to expand it out this way. Kind of keep the flow going the way that, that it's currently, currently going. Now, I would also start um, expanding the, the foundation over here. Uh, because I would like to add another gate. However, $88,000 isn't anywhere near uh, enough to be able to do that. Um, that's that's, a, that's an expensive project. Just to build the foundation on the first floor is probably going to be about $100,000. Let's take a look. Foundation. I think we're going to need something like, something like that. So yeah, you're looking at at least $150,000 just to get that extra gate down well actually i lied so three hundred thousand because we're gonna have to build it on the first and the second floor so we're looking at three hundred thousand dollars in order to be able to do that let's speed up time so we can maybe get there a little bit faster oh that's another thing that we did too if we go over here to the second floor we did turn the entire second floor let me zoom in here for you guys we did turn the entire second floor basically into a windowed area which is nice uh, we we left this concrete because again if we're going to be expanding there's no uh, sense in wasting money and making that windows but yeah we're looking okay we're looking okay we're, do we're doing all right now how much money do we have tied up in loans mm, eight hundred thousand bucks that's not i mean well okay it is horrible we should maybe start knocking that out as well Look at that, though. We've got some nice... We've got a good amount of passengers over here, though. People are using our airport. They're using our cafe, too, which is nice. Let's see. Is there a possibility? Can I kind of see profit and loss? That's something I need to research. I'd like to be able to see kind of what our cafe is doing down there. If it's, if it's earning its keep, if it's making us some cash... These guys over here are waiting in line. Maybe we should add in another ticketing desk. That might not be such a bad idea, right? Let's do that. We'll add in a ticketing desk. We'll have to hire someone else. 
Should we do a second? Yeah, why not? Let's do a second one. Prepare for this expansion. Speed up time, have our construction crew knock that out. Excellent. Our two employees should come in. What's the deal over here? Must be in a functioning ticketing area. That's that's not a problem at all. Zero issues with being able to do that. Where oh where is our ticketing zone, however? There it is. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll make this uh we'll make this ticketing right here. All good. Just uh just need our and why is it giving me the luggage little symbol right there? Conveyor endpoint. Um, why are these not saying that? Do they already have conveyors? Which, I mean, obviously they don't, right? Because we don't see them. Hmm. Interesting. And why is no one coming over there to work? There we go. There we go. All right. Good. $214,000. What uh, what should we do with that? Let's check our research. It's only about 40% done. Well, not, not even 40%. Come on. Knock that out. Knock that out. While we're waiting on that, I think it might be... It might make sense to pay down our debt a little bit. We do have $230,000. Now, it doesn't make sense to start knocking this stuff down while the airport is operational. That's something we're going to want to do... When there's no, uh, when the, when all the airlines take off for the night and we have probably, you know, a good eight hour stretch of no passengers and no airlines coming in here. What we can do, though, while we're here and we have the cash, let's go ahead and let's add more of these fuel depots or the fuel tanks. Um, this one can hold 90 liters. This one can hold. Ooh, wow. Holy smokes. 90 liters of fuel there. And this one is over a million over a, a million and a half wow um oh but that's wow that costs five hundred thousand dollars this sucker here is 42 grand this one's five hundred thousand dollars hey there's no need for that no need for that yet um let's add hmm yeah let's let's be let's be cautious and only add one Make sure our fuel pipe system leads to it as well. Can we not do that? Of course we'll be able to do that. We just need the construction crew to finish building that bad boy. And there we go. So yeah, knock that out too for me, please. And it is 6.45 in the PM. It's getting a little quiet. Come on, knock that one out. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. How much fuel can we store now? Why? I don't want to look at the... Uh, why? Oh, why? What's what's going on here? Why is it... Uh, why is it still stuck in the underground view? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Ah, huh, okay. I don't believe we went underground, but that's fine. That's fine. How much can we hold? I believe if we go into operations, we'll be able to see that. Fuel services. Um, the price. So we are tra charging 10% more than what we pay, which I've noticed that a few of the airlines aren't too happy about that as well. Uh, we could potentially lower that a little bit. However, I feel like that's, that's a huge moneymaker for us right now. Um, delivery time is at 11 p.m. and our capacity is 270,000 liters. We are making pretty good money uh, selling that fuel back to the airlines. And why do we still have all these people over here in pickups, man? Like, can we, can we increase our bus schedule? Can we have the buses come a little bit more frequently? One thing I do believe we can do is make the buses larger. Um, let's see, light rail transit, land expansion, longer, uh, longer light rail transits, multi-lane access, um, advanced ticketing, advanced security. I could have swore. 
Oh, here we go. If we scroll down, if we scroll all the way down, upgraded buses, which just basically means that it'll be double decker buses. They can hold twice as many people. That could be worth looking into. Get these guys out of here just a little bit faster. Um, all that requires is a COO with the office. Now, we already know uh, our operations is complete. Let's go ahead. Okay, we need the COO. And we already have the office, so that's not going to be an issue. Uh, manage admin, COO, hire. Excellent. So now we should be able to research that stuff. Um, why, oh why. Come on, let's speed it up a little bit so that he goes into his office. He or she. There we go. Land expansion, $90,000. 24 hours required. All right, that'll be done tomorrow. And then I think after the land expansion gets done, I think I will... Let's just go ahead and accept that now. So immediately after the land expansion is done, the upgraded buses are going to start being researched and these guys will be able to get out of here just a little bit faster. And our storage area is getting kind of uh, kind of filled up here too. Lots of sinks, doors. Oh man, okay. We might have to expand our storage area. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that now while we're here. We're not going to go too crazy. We're just going to do something like that. Deliveries, I guess we could kind of uh, expand as well, just to kind of make it nice and uh, symmetrical right there. Nice and even. Pickups, we could have done the same thing with. Um, I'm not going to, just because I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> um, all right, it's 11 o'clock. We have $45,000. We did spend a lot of money right there. Uh, now would have been a perfect time to be able to upgrade the runway. However, it's not researched yet, so obviously we can't do that. What else can we improve on in this airport? Security is, uh, is massively improved over the last episode. Cafe, I feel like, is large enough. It's, it doesn't need any kind of expanding right now. I would also like to have the... Um, it's not the credit reporting. Um, you know what? I take that back. I don't even think we need a research. I think if we just go into operations... We go into, um, let's see here, not transport capacity, although it is nice having this extra information with the weather, gate control, close time, at which time before departure your gate should stop accepting new passengers. That is locked. Hmm, fuel services we've already been able to access, runways, we just have the one. Um, max crosswind 20, I wish it would kind of maybe tell you... How many, uh, how many out of how many airplanes you can accept? So, you know, like, hey, your runway is this long. You can accept 12 out of 15 airplanes. That'd be a nice little feature to have right there as well. Uh, transport and deliveries. Um, this is all locked. I understand why the light rail is locked. Garbage disposes of everything within zone. Why is that locked? And then this is something we should look into potentially lowering here later. Um, and we still can't go into the profit and loss. Requires a CFO. Okay, yep. That makes sense. A CFO and a COO are two different things, right? A CFO is the chief financial officer. And I believe the COO is the, uh, the chief operating officer. He makes sure that the airport runs smoothly and the chief financial officer ensures that the airport is, uh, is making money. That they're not spending too much money on their staff and on their food and on all that good stuff. Uh, that the airport is actually continue to make money. Which there are a lot of airports out there that are actually privately owned airports and their their whole business is to just make money. Whereas other states have airports that are owned by the actual state or maybe even the city that they're in. And um, I mean, they still care about profits, obviously. However, it's not as important to them as if they were as if they were a, a privately owned airport. Now, let's go ahead and let's hire the CFO just so we can start knocking some of this stuff out. Let's fast forward. Uh, he or she will get here relatively soon. And then that should unlock all of this. Right. Yeah, okay, so it unlocked some of it. Oh, we just don't have enough money for that to get unlocked. Same thing with the other ones. Uh, we can do the credit reporting. I'm not, I'm not too interested in unlocking that. I mostly just want to see this. Profit and loss. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's do a little bit of a deep dive into our financial situation here. So our staff is costing us $31,000. I'm assuming this is per day. $31,000 a day. 
our retail is costing us 1800 however it's bringing in 65 so that's that's a profit of 4600 bucks i'm okay with that infrastructure expenses 740 transportation expenses 750 I'm not sure what those infrastructure expenses are and it tells us garbage service all right refuel station just having the infrastructure huh the fuel depot and the air traffic uh, control tower as well okay all right i'll allow it transportation 750 that's the buses etc runway fees we're making 8800 dollars a day terminal fees forty four thousand dollars a day so maybe we should reduce the runway fees since they're not bringing in that much money anyways uh, and then the fuel yesterday we made that's all we made refueling services 2778 maybe that's for today let's go ahead and fast forward and see if these numbers change for us um it is 7 40 in the morning so we should have passengers as well as planes coming in these numbers i would yeah there we go fuel change to twenty thousand. i'm sure if we check that at the end of the day which I'm going to try to remember to do, uh, that number is going to be sky high. I expect that to be in like the $200,000, $300,000 range. And our offices are completely occupied now. So it might be worth looking into expanding the office area once again. How is our research coming along with the land expansion? Almost 10 more hours we'll be able to do some land expansion. Not bad. Multi-lane access, I believe, gives us a uh, two-lane road. Yep. Changes your airport entrance and exit to be two-lane roads for higher throughput. Which is... that That is nice. I do remember doing that in the, um, in the Let's Play we did over a year ago. Where it actually does, I, I believe it moves this light rail. Um, I may be wrong. But I believe it, it might move this light rail over a little bit. Or maybe it moves these zones over. But it does add another road over here. I believe that's the case. Don't quote me on that. But I, I, think, that's, I think that's what that means. Uh, we are doing pretty good. 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Airport is nice and full. How's our upstairs area looking over here? And I apologize. If you guys don't enjoy me having it on full speed, it's just, I don't know. I like it. I like it. I like having things come on. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's process. It is always nice to kind of slow down and just kind of observe. We should, uh, we should definitely add more seating over here, huh? Let's go ahead and give them a few more. Uh, let's do another gap. And then we will do the one back to back right there. And then again, we're going to give them some more flowers and all that good stuff. Um, let's see. That is flooring. Don't want to look at flooring. Um, no. Maybe you just start from scratch. Objects. Is it not called flower? Flower pot? Flower something? Mm, here, decor. Let's just do that. <laughs> I really like this uh, decorative bush number two. Uh, I just like that little, the little, the little hints of red in there. I really do enjoy. Probably the the little Bob Ross and me or something. You know, like oh look, there's just some some pretty little red flowers in there. Let's just draw those suckers in. And you know, we wash our brushes with odorless thinner. And we have a lot of fun. We shake off the excess. <laughs> I don't think he ever said suckers, but you know what I mean. $251,000. We're looking good. A little bit more seating, though that got filled up real quick as well. Okay. I mean, we do... I mean, these airplanes do hold like right around 90 people <laughs> and we don't have anywhere near 90 bench seats, but uh, we should probably have at least like half. However, you know what? When I go to the airport and I go catch a flight, they never have that many, that much seating. I mean, don't get me wrong. They have way more than this, obviously, right? Like I fly out of Chicago all the time and you go up to a gate and they probably have a good hundred seats there for people. 
However, those flights typically have 150, 200 people. So, you know, come on. You can maybe make those terminals a little bit, a little bit wider and add some more seating in there. We are making money out of the, uh, you can see there's like a little huddle over here for the ATM, for the drink vending, and for the food vending. And then especially over here for the phone charger. Doesn't really seem like too many people are using the drink vending, but that phone charger is extremely popular. Maybe we should give them another one over here somewhere. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's let's do another phone charger. And we don't get any money for that, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but maybe I'll just stop being so greedy and I'll just give them a phone charger over here. Uh, see how long it takes our construction crew to knock that out. And then once they do knock that out, let's see when people start using it. Which I, I, I believe it's going to be pretty quick. Or not. not oh, there it is. There it is. All right, people are huddling around that one now, too. Wow, we still have a whole bunch of people up here, and now we have a bunch of people over here. You guys need to juice up your phones before you guys come to the uh, the airport. $333,000. Excellent, excellent. How's our research coming along? Our land expansion is about four hours away from being completed. Took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Let's fast forward. You know what I think I'm going to do? We have $333,000. I'm really, I'd really like to start paying off this loan just because this, this daily interest of $42,000, that's not sitting well with me. I don't like owing that $42,000 every single day. And it's not even going down. Like in, in the real world, when you pay off your, your loan or like you make your monthly payment, there's interest is already calculated into that. Plus there's a principal. So this should be going down a little bit on a daily basis. Like any time we make a payment, it should go down a little bit more. Uh, I feel like I'm doing like a little financial education this episode. Hmm. Three hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars. Let's go a little bit longer. I do want to see what our overall finances look like on a daily basis. Are our flights okay? We still have some more passengers coming in. We have, how many more flights do we have coming in? I'd say it's five o'clock. So there's one, two, there's four more flights coming in today. Those are going to bring in even more cash for us, which is going to be nice. We could definitely look into adding some more PM flights. However, that will not, that will not uh, take effect until tomorrow. So it wouldn't really, really wouldn't impact us in this episode. Mm. Overall, I'm very happy with our with our airport right now. I would love to be able to do the expansion on the runway. I would love to be able to add in. You know what? That's that's what we could spend our three hundred ninety nine thousand dollars on. Expanding the foundation over here for a fourth gate. Now, let me see here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to do a little bit of something like... Let's, let's try to be a little cheap and do $140,000. And then let's see the large gate, which we can't fit. We can't fit an extra large gate. I mean, we could uh, eventually move that down here. However, um, let's just try to do the large gate. That actually will fit. Door is up. Yeah, we need to rotate it, obviously, but it'll actually fit right there. Excellent. So we didn't need to spend 150000 but but um, that is going to fit. I'm not going to spend that money right now because we're still going to have to do the foundation on the second floor. That's going to cost us another two, uh, another $140,000. But let's see, it's 8.30, 8.30 in the evening. Right before midnight, I do want to see what our overall financial situation looked like for today. Because there's a very good possibility it's going to look very, very similar for tomorrow. Garbage hasn't been an issue ever since we added those four dumpsters. Our fuel is, is doing fine. Um, I don't believe that we're actually um, like using all 270,000 liters of fuel on a daily basis. But it's nice to have it. Uh, for when we do expand and we add this extra gate. Maybe if we add this extra gate over here, then we will kind of get close to, to using all of that. Um, let's see. It's almost 11 o'clock. I want to pause it. Oh, okay. okay. We, we did just spend some money on, on a whole bunch of stuff. We just spent $196,000 on fuel. All right, we're getting there. 
We're getting there. Alright, this is good enough. 11.57 p.m. Let's do a little bit of a deep dive into our financial situation, profit and loss. So today we spent almost $74,000, just a little bit shy of $74,000 on our staff. Um, it might be, well, I mean, that's not, I guess that's not horrible. There are, they are essential employees, right? Retail, we made 28,000, not bad at all. That's, that's excellent. As a matter of fact, that makes me think that expanding the cafe might actually be worth the time and money. Infrastructure, um, we already covered that a little bit. The infrastructure was just the basic garbage, fueling, all that good stuff. That's not bad. $2,000 a day. I'll take it transportation with the bus service okay um which that is actually being researched right now uh so that we can get the double decker buses runway fees are fifty two thousand eight hundred. that's a nice chunk of change in our pockets uh the terminal fees are 219 that is from the actual passengers coming in uh, and it kind of actually breaks that down on a flight by flight basis which is really nice i like that a lot some of these, see, and this is kind of why I don't like getting these smaller flights. The smaller flights only bring in 2700 bucks, whereas the larger ones bring in almost 15000 So, I mean, that's that's like a, uh, that's a nice six times difference, you know? Six times more money bringing in the larger flight than the smaller flight. Fuel cost, let's see, fuel delivery fee was 500 bucks. We purchased $195,000 worth of fuel, and we sold um, $182,000, so, but you know what? Um, hmm, I believe, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to investigate that a little bit more, because I believe that $182,000 is like pure profit. Yes, we purchased $195,000. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Airline fee. Uh, airline fees, this is what? 100% boarded on time. Oh, nice. So when we when we succeed in boarding 100% on time, they actually give us a little bit of extra cash. Excellent thing there. And then uh, this is because of, oh, see, so yeah. Today we lost 419,000. Uh, no, no, no. No, we still made $493,000. And that's even with spending $419,000. And a big chunk of that was the uh, the materials for our little land expansion over here that we're going to finish in the next episode. Anyways, guys, that is what our airport looks like as of right now in the next episode. And I know I said this at the beginning of this one. However, we just didn't have the time. We didn't have the money. We didn't have the resources and we didn't have the research completed to be able to expand the runway. However, in the next episode, we will be able to do that. Uh, we will expand the runway. Hopefully we will expand the, uh, the foundation over here to go on the second story so we can actually implement the large gate. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment any tips, tricks, uh, advice on what you would like to see in the next episode. I do read every single comment and I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, stay safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye.